Celestialians and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Celeste Simone and I offer pick a card tower readings just like this one as well as other spiritual guidance videos and heart-centered energy healing to clear away any energy blockages so that you can heal and live your best life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button and join our family of celestial beings. This pick a card tarot reading that I have for you today is going to answer the question, is somebody doing black magic on you? Has somebody sent you negative energy? Now, a black magic doesn't necessarily have to be somebody intentionally sitting down and putting negative energy towards you or putting a spell or a curse on you, although sometimes it can mean that. But black magic is also just putting negative intentions towards somebody or thinking negative thoughts or wishing ill of them. So if that is the case, in my readings, as you guys know, I not only like to provide you with guided messages, but I also like to provide healing energy as well to help protect you and clear away blockages and also clear away negative energy. So the best way to do that is to first see what the situation is, see where the blockage is at, and then as I am guided to, I will send out healing energy for you so that if you are being sent this negative energy or if black magic is coming your way, you will be protected. As you guys know from some of my other videos, I have run into negative entities from time to time, and I don't take this reading lightly whatsoever. This is not a gimmicky reading by any means. I do have my selenite close at hand. My selenite wand is here to cleanse this space and I keep it with all of my stones that I use for each of these pick a pile readings and I also have some clear quartz crystal. I chose some celestite to wear today so that I will be connected directly with my angels so that they will be offering guided messages in a pure and honest way and as always I like to wear my clear quartz crystal crown as I do my readings to connect myself to the higher realm and not connect to anything negative. I've also chosen stones for this reading for each one of these piles that is protective so each one of these piles will be protected and i am putting that intention out there and asking for all of us to be protected throughout this reading as we are diving into these messages and whenever you are doing spiritual practices such as this one it is important to take them seriously and protect yourself and have that intention so if you are interested in finding out if anybody is sending you black magic then please give this video a big thumbs up and let's dive into these piles. Pile number one is an obsidian stone. Pile number two is blue tiger's eye. Pile number three is tiger's eye. And pile number four is a red tiger's eye. So I will give you a chance to take a closer look at each one of these piles. You guys know what to do. Take a deep cleansing breath and see which pile you are most drawn to. And once you are ready to pick your pile and head on over to your reading, you can go on down into the description box below where I have posted timestamps for each one of these piles and the corresponding stone as well for the pile. And you can head right on over to your reading. With that said, let's not waste any more time. I will see you over at your reading. Hello, all my beautiful celestial beings who chose pile number one. I have your pile right here with the obsidian stone on it. It's a very protective stone, so we're gonna stick this over here by the selenite so that it takes in any of the negative energy that is coming through, which again, we are being protected by our angels right now. So any of that negativity is just going to be deflected. Well, let's find out what the tarot cards have to say first. We have the eight of swords, the nine of pentacles, the death card and judgment. So first off, I do want to say that the death card does not mean death literally. And I will be going into those messages a little later, but judging from this reading right away with I'm, what I'm seeing with the eight of swords, I am seeing that there may be somebody who is almost wishing you to not succeed. Cause I am seeing with the nine of pentacles that you actually are doing well or that you will be successful in an endeavor. So there's somebody who maybe is seeing your successes and is kind of jealous of them and jealous of how talented you are in certain areas so they may actually be trying to trap you and again as I mentioned earlier 
black magic doesn't necessarily mean that this person is necessarily a person who practices black magic but these negative energies can kind of turn into a spell if somebody is sending those thoughts or those emotions towards you and trying to block you from succeeding in a certain way now i am seeing with the death card and judgment i feel as though you are somebody who is going to really rise above anybody who's trying to prevent you from moving forward i see a big transformation coming to you very soon in your future so so with the death card this really does mean an ending and a new beginning and i'm seeing with the judgment card that you're almost going to rise above any of this negativity and overcome it so if you are feeling right now that you are stuck in some way as if you are unable to kind of progress forward in something this is about to change for you and it's going to change in a big way it's going to change by something in your life ending and a new thing beginning and through that change you are going to grow and rise above something there's going to be a release of some sort where you are almost awakening to a new realization a new way of thinking or a new opportunity a new like direction to take so regardless of if this person is really trying to prevent you from reaching your personal goals and reaching your aspirations and the things that you are really good at your successes even if they may be holding you back because of that jealousy of your opportunities that is all going to change you won't be permanently stuck okay so any feelings of energy right now that is feeling stuck is going to change so right away i'm going to just send you some releasal energy i'm just feeling like i feel like you need to be healed almost from definitely from your heart chakra but but more so from your solar plexus i'm just feeling like as though you need to be released from this bondage so i'm going to take a moment to just send you that healing energy and i'm seeing two please comment down below two yellow hearts to let me know that you would like to receive this energy or you can just accept the energy within yourself but of course i do love to see you guys posting those hearts down below so that i know you are receiving the energy that I am sending for you and I'm seeing the energy just kind of igniting within you and giving you almost like you're being reborn into a new phase of your life so this is a pivotal moment for you coming up that is going to lead to successes despite somebody sending some of that black magic towards you some of that negative energy of wanting to see you fail even just because of jealousy now they may not want to literally do this for you but this may be a subconscious thing that they can't help but feel jealous of your successes okay so we're sending that to you we're sending that protection towards you let's head on into the oracle cards next to see what they have to say kindness live with compassion open your heart to all life forms be an angel with hands so yes this card does mention the heart but it also is a yellow orange type color so it's kind of that solar plexus and sacral chakra area um so yeah i'm seeing that that is going to really release you and i am seeing an angel on this card first and foremost so i do see that you have an angel backing you that is protecting you and as i mentioned you're going to rise above this and with this energy i feel almost as if you're going to be become um, grounded and focused and you're going to really start to head into a direction that is going to lead to a lot of happiness and and um fulfillment in your life so you do have an angel backing you now kindness is an important energy here because we don't want to send negativity back to this individual or even a group of individuals who maybe don't want to see you succeed but we don't want to send anger or hatred or resentment towards them because that is only going to repeat this process because it's, anger is just going to breed anger and going to just mirror that back to you in your life so kindness is really important i think that our angels right now are kind of coming in stepping in and saying hey let's like meet this with kindness and also when you hold the energy of kindness within your heart you vibrate at that energy and you can actually eliminate a lot of the people in your life who may be doing this who may be causing negative who may be sending you negative energy and instead of it coming towards you it is transmuted into pure kindness pure love energy so that is the message i am seeing with this card right away next we have expectation be open for whatever comes next it might just be the music your heart's been waiting to hear 
Yes. So I feel like an opening of your heart is really important right now and allowing that love for yourself to come in uh, so that you can kind of rise above any of these fears that other people have for you or jealousy that people have for you. And also with expectation, of course, I do sense, you know, something is coming for, for you to really improve your career or prove the work that you are doing. I do see, you know, with this card, an artistic type of energy as well, but almost like a personal skill or talent that is going to really shine and show through. And I feel like releasing this person or cutting that energy tie is really going to help you because I feel like there's somebody who may be trying to trap you and keep you from moving forward with that skill that you have and maybe even dissuading you or or not wanting to see, almost like they don't want to see that bring you joy because they realize that they never followed their personal passion in their life and so seeing you do that is actually sending resentment towards you so it is important to clear that and we're, we're going to instead raise our vibration up and together, you know, this is a rebirth for you to rise above this energy and to escape, to, to find freedom, you know, with the judgment card as well, finding freedom, a revelation and moving towards a new direction that is going to bring you a lot of happiness. Okay, next we have clarity. Banish the fog of illusion. Open your eyes to the truth. Remember the perfection of who you are. So yes, so you are pure energy, you are a soul that has taken an, on a physical form in this life. So the clarity here, I believe, is you finding a higher understanding of yourself in this life, in this physical form, gaining clarity also on what is needed to be done next in the physical realm. I feel as though your connection with your higher self brings you closer to your connection with your physical soul's path, your path here on the physical plane. So clarity is coming towards you because I feel as though with the eight of swords, like there's been almost a fog around you where you're just not sure what to do next and you're feeling as though something is growing, you're feeling as though something is, you know, brewing beneath the surface, but you're just not sure what to do next and there's almost like this entrapment feeling with the Eight of Swords. So you're moving past that and it's going to come to you through clarity, through this rebirth of energy, this new awakening, this new revelation, realization of what is coming to you next. So that is going to help guide you on your next step on this journey. We have expression. Yeah, some there's there's going to be an expression for you of your talent, an opportunity to express your talent, to show what you're really great at, your skill. Okay, and I see that I'm also seeing that your angel, your guide here with the kindness card and that energy is trying to reach out to you, maybe trying to express information or messages to you from the angelic realm to try to guide you. So also be sure to contact or tap into that. Just be aware of that that form of expression. But I feel like you're only going to feel fulfilled and happy if you are expressing yourself. You know, hiding and not following your dreams, not reaching your goals is only going to lead to feeling kind of trapped and stuck. I feel with expression too. I feel for some of you with expression, I'm sensing that this person may actually express to you their jealousy or they may be, they may express to you their personal uh, frustrations about you. They may actually kind of bring you down verbally. They may be an expressive person as well and they're kind of blocking you from expressing yourself. So this may be somebody who's toxic for some of you. Uh, this person maybe is kind of trapping your voice, almost keeping you from being able to speak, keeping you from being able to be your authentic self because they're trying to dim your light. And so I'm seeing that it is important to release. We're releasing that in order for you to feel as though you can express yourself again. I feel like you haven't been able to really speak. It's almost been like this weight, this fog. You've been kind of confused or feeling as though you can't express yourself or do what you want to do in the way that you are hoping to express your feelings and thoughts. I feel like there's there's this cloud or this fog around you. So this is clearing away. We're, we're getting rid of that now. 
your angels are stepping in and we're going to ask them of course throughout this whole reading this is the intention of this reading is to ask your angels to come and help you clear this way so that you can walk walk your path so that you can speak your truth okay next we have centering yep so this is this is a process right now of centering yourself uh, so there is there is benefits to times of rest so if you are feeling in a fog right now centering yourself is going to be really a positive thing and this is going within finding your center within this could be through meditation seeking that voice within listening being just very present with your inner self and hearing what it has to say you know what is going on within turn your attention inward with the centering card this is going to actually empower you it's going to raise your vibration as well because i see i do see a, in a sense that you are raising your vibration for some of you you are light workers you are angel healers here on earth and so centering yourself is very important because i feel like if you do have somebody who is trying to dim your light as a light worker then you know this is something that like workers may face from time to time if we kind of fall under with our um, vibration we could be tired or we could kind of let that go a little bit where we're not as vigilant with keeping our vibration high happens to the best of us and you know once that happens you may have people who are trying to latch on to you and they may be draining that energy but you can rise above it this is not so, this is not a permanent thing this is not something that you have to endure this is and as an empath too you know if you are taking on other people's energies this is something that is constant that we have to be di diligent about is recentering ourselves when we're feeling stuck you know maybe there is maybe it is needed to stop because you're feeling drained that is a time to go within and reconnect with your higher power and regain your power so that you can overcome this energy. Okay, and last but not least, we have grace. Yes, so I see you coming back into grace. I feel like with expression, there was something, I've seen this card before, but in this reading, I felt like this card was kind of dark in, in this reading. I just was getting that vibe of like somebody has their eyes on you and that they may like ex either keep you from expressing your truth or almost like they're over sharing their they're expressing kind of like their disappointment in you or just sending you negative energy and actually speaking it out as well towards you so or about you even like expressing like gossip almost um but for this you know this is somebody who is really just trapped in their own insecurities or in their own limitations and we you know it's important to send positive energy outward we don't want to send any negativity out because we don't want that to come back obviously uh but yeah with grace i'm seeing in this card i'm just seeing such a different energy for this it is just such a bright card and i'm also just feeling with grace this is the connection with god with a higher source with your higher self whatever however you refer to it that connection with spirit that is what grace i'm seeing that you are coming back into alignment again with this card and this is really the process that i'm seeing you are finding your center you are reconnecting with yourself with your higher self with your soul path you are finding a new awakening happening within you and it is going to lead you to fulfillment to awareness to a higher level of awareness and an awakening where you finally realize what you are what you are here to be doing what you're going to do next where you are guided to to go next in the physical and also at, at an energetic level so group one that is going to do it for your reading i truly hope you enjoyed this reading about black magic please give this video a big thumbs up if you have not done so already and comment down below to let me know if this reading did resonate with you i would love to know that you are enjoying my content and i appreciate it so so much i do read all the comments if you would like a personal reading i do offer those on my website celestsimone.com which is linked in the description box below so you can head on over there if you would like to receive further messages from me that is going to do it for this reading i hope to see you back again soon bye, -bye for now Hello, all my beautiful celestial beings who chose pal number two. I have your pal right here with the blue tiger's eye on it. 
So I'll set that aside. Now we are asking our angels to protect us during this reading about black magic. And any of these messages are going to be sending positivity. It's always important to protect yourself when you are doing anything spiritual just like this. So I do take it very seriously. So let's dive into your pile and see what messages we have for you. We have the moon in reverse, the two of pentacles, the nine of swords, and the king of swords. Yes, yeah, so I see why you did come to this reading. There are some things that are really troubling you or some questions that you have, some hidden truths here. I feel as though you may be sensing that something just isn't right or somebody may be lying to you about something with the moon card. I'm seeing that somebody is being maybe dishonest with you because of something that they are holding against you or because of something that they aren't telling you. And I'm seeing with the two of pentacles, almost as if things have been out of balance for you. I feel like maybe you have been unable to uh, balance certain things in your life. You may have been physically feeling imbalanced. I feel like maybe you've been a little clumsy lately even. And I'm just sensing this because of this feeling of somebody like talking behind your back or somebody not telling you the full truth about something. I feel as though this could be a male actually in this situation, an older male with the King of Swords because this King of Swords is in reverse and it just, it, it's giving me almost this feeling that this person has negative thoughts about you or that this person is really just sending out negative energy for you. So I just, I do sense that there's some kind of black magic or at least negative energy coming towards you. And again, this could be subconscious. This person may not even realize that they're sending this energy to you, but you may be taking it on regardless. And I am seeing with the Nine of Swords that it could actually be making you have either bad dreams keeping you up at night or giving you like anxiety mentally, you know, just kind of thinking and wondering either about this person specifically, maybe this person is trying to keep you uh, um, thinking about them. They want to kind of occupy your thoughts. They want you to almost be unable to function without them for some of you. Uh, and with the moon, I'm just sensing that there is opportunities for you to overcome this. So right away, I'm definitely going to send you healing energy um, for your third eye. I'm almost getting a headache from this because I do see it's a lot of mental confusion or mental uh, thoughts that are troubling you and negative thoughts coming up for you. So let's, let's heal your third eye chakra. I'm going to just heal that. Um, and send healing energy because I am getting a headache from this right away. And I feel as though this is this energy is making it difficult for you to almost do normal everyday tasks. Like you feel like you can't concentrate on any one thing. You feel like you're just scatterbrained almost. Um, and feel like you can't get anything done or organize your life almost because this person may even be just trying to draw your thoughts to them. Or it, it may be that they're just thinking about you so much that it's it's causing you to think about them because they're actually pulling your energy towards them um, and they're wanting to be. So this could actually be a romantic partner, but the, it doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm sensing for some of you, it may be a toxic past relationship where this individual is kind of pulling your, they're just thinking about you at times. Um, but I feel like with the moon card, some of the reason, yes, okay, I'm getting this message that a lot of the, for many of you, like the reason that you are so connected to this person is because you have some psychic abilities. So you may actually have clairvoyance and that is why you're so connected to this person. Because I'm, I'm hearing, you know, the moon energy, the moon card is somebody who can have psychic abilities, clairvoyance and things like that. Uh, and I just sense that this card is coming through as well to let you know that those, you know, it's important to clear yourself and those abilities that you do have, you, you may need to get a better hold on them or grasp of them and start looking into that a little bit more so that you can feel a little more in control of them. And that doesn't necessarily mean trying to like block them or cut them out. You may actually have to embrace these abilities a little bit more so you can overcome them. And I feel like for some of you, you get these messages in your dreams or again, just I'm seeing like visions and I'm seeing clairvoyance for many of you guys. 
or some kind of psychic ability that is attaching you to this person because you already kind of have that ability so it's not hard for somebody to, to take your um your attention because you're just sensing them thinking those things or being in a negative headspace themselves because i am feeling like they are in a negative headspace themselves and then that is why they're they're kind of taking your energy and, and bring it into theirs okay so if you do want to receive that healing energy for the third eye which again i am like getting a headache and it's not this crowd but i am getting a headache um so if you do want to accept the energy for that just go ahead and comment two purple hearts down below to let me know that you would like to accept that energy. You can also just accept it within yourself, but I do enjoy seeing that you guys are receiving that healing energy. So yeah, let me take one more second. We're just going to take a second to, to heal this. I'm just going to send some energy there and out of your crown chakra to release that as well. Just to connect you with your higher self as well. Uh, so that you can receive the help from your angels, the healing energy from your angels. Okay. All right. So that's going to be sending to you while we continue this reading. Next, I have anticipation. Something wonderful is happening. Changes in the air. Open yourself to the blessings on their way. So despite this happening, I feel like this is not going to affect your daily life. It's not going to affect things that you are receiving, abundance that you are receiving, positive things. So I feel as though with anticipation that... Okay, for some of you too, I think anticipation may also be the energy that is getting caught up in your mind. So you may actually be anticipating something to happen soon. Now this could be, actually I am sensing that this could be your psychic abilities either warning you or just giving you a heads up about what is to come. So you may already know what is about to happen for you. The change is ultimately positive, okay? And this is go this change is going to ultimately be positive i feel like but i feel as though anticipation yeah i feel like there's something that you have a sense is going to happen and that may be causing you to be worried or nervous about it i feel like you may have a sense a psychic ability a sense that this is about to happen either with this person something involving this person and you may be worried about it, but I would just trust in the process and not worry too much about it because I think really it, this is just showing you that your abilities are very tapped in and tuned in. So I would listen to your intuition as well. I feel like your intuition may be telling you something about something that is about to happen in the future. It's going to be a big change for you. Again, rather than trying to block this out or rather than worrying about it, it's important to really embrace this energy and raise up your vibration, which is really what we're doing in this reading for sure. Let's raise your vibration up, connect you to your higher self, connect to those messages, and ask some questions. Ask your guides to help you. Ask, we're asking the angels now. Ask the angels to help you uh, really find the most positive outcome for this. Ask them to help everything work out in the end and guide you. Send some messages, send some guidance. So yeah, if the anticipation is kind of building up inside of you, I feel like you have some inner sense of something about to happen. Okay, manifestation. Your dreams have untold energy. Open the door and let them live. Desire and belief are your power. It does mention dreams in this. Having It says your dreams have untold energy. And I do sense that some of you are psychically dreaming right now. But it is important with manifestation. I feel that, yes, for some of you, you are going to be manifesting something really wonderful. And as I mentioned before, I feel like your manifestations are not going to be affected necessarily by this person, even though it may feel right now like you're kind of confused and having a hard time focusing. You, you're, it's important to remember that your thoughts are manifesting things currently. And so it is important to readjust your thoughts and try to focus on things that are actually going to manifest you overcoming this, manifest you uh, raising your vibration and finding a new path, finding the best path for you right now. And I feel like that alone is going to heal you. You can set intentions for anything. It doesn't have to just be intending to acquire money or intending to get a new job. It can be also intending spiritual things to happen. It could be intending to manifest your abilities to manifest information on your abilities to manifest guidance 
on what to do next to manifest guidance on clearing mental anxiety too so you can manifest anything you can set that intent okay so it's important to remember you have that power and you have not lost that power and this person is not preventing you either from manifesting what you want okay Next, we have prosperity. <laughs> Focus on the positive and more good will come. Give thanks for blessings and they will multiply. Prosperity begins in the mind. Yes. So I feel as though there is an opportunity. I mean, we have anticipation, manifestation, prosperity. So prosperity is coming your way. And I think if you are having worries about somebody preventing you from gaining prosperity with the two of pentacles as well, um, I feel as though too, like you may be drained right now from work as well, or drained from the day to day. But I feel like whatever you have been trying to manifest, I feel with prosperity that this could very well be financial um, prosperity and abundance in your life, typically, and the frog does symbolize that as well. So I just feel as though money is coming towards you. So you will be provided for, okay? So if that's been keeping you up at night, if you've been worried about that, feel like you may even be anticipating you may know already or or you keep feeling like yes my manifestations are coming true but you're not seeing them yet but i do sense that prosperity is coming towards you so just continue continue to look within continue to go inward check where you are your emotions are where you are feeling where your thoughts at what messages are you receiving and try to clear those away as best as you can. Try to work through any of those shadows because that's only going to help you with your manifestations. Because oftentimes that's the reason why manifestations aren't working. Now it could be because divine will does not, you know, um, does not want that to happen right now or doesn't feel like that is this is the right time for it. So you can't really control everything in your life, but generally you can manifest a positive outcome for yourself. And I do feel that it is important as well to remove blockages within yourself before you can start to manifest freely. And if you are having trouble manifesting something, that's the right time to go within and check and see why is there a blockage or why, why may I not be manifesting what I want to manifest? And if there is nothing there, then maybe it's just not the right time for it. But essentially, I do see that for you, this is the right time for you to manifest prosperity into your life. So just be open to that. And again, be aware of your thoughts. What are your thoughts creating right now? Where are your thoughts at? Do you need to cleanse yourself from this person or do you need to cut yourself off from this person for the time being in some way and create a healthy bubble around yourself for now while you heal and while you raise your vibration up so that you can receive this prosperity. So listen to your intuition. You know, we can't always cut, just cut people out of our lives. That's not always the solution to everything. Uh, but yeah, listen to your energy, listen to your guidance. And again, I'm sending this energy with your head. I'm, I'm already feeling much better. Like with my, um, with my headache, it's kind of going away. So hopefully for you guys too, this is really clearing and cleansing out any of those old thought patterns and blockages there. Okay, let's keep going. We have intuition. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Oh, that gives me the chills. Okay. <laughs> yep. I'm seeing that your intuition is guiding you right now and you have a strong, again, I feel like you have some psychic abilities. You can see the future in some ways and you also just sense this person around you. I feel like you can sense people around you or you may be the type of person who will like call somebody up and say are you okay because you just have a feeling like they're not doing it well or you kind of know when someone's about to call you or you think of somebody and then they you see them on the street like that kind of intuition i also feel like you have visions maybe of the future in your dreams but you have a powerful intuition that you can actually use to manifest to take the next step so yeah this anticipation something that you are anticipating will happen is going to happen that is your intuition speaking to you for sure so listen to those messages and don't ignore those messages okay next we have divine timing okay so i ranted a little bit about divine will and divine timing but here we have divine timing card and that is because you have to understand that some things may not have manifested immediately because it was not the right time but it seems as though your manifestations are taking place and that they have been received by the universe, which sometimes is all I feel like we really need to know is like, does the universe even hear my manifestation? The answer is yes. <laughs> the universe does hear your manifestation. It's just that divine timing steps in 
and you know lets you know when you are going to receive it. it it basically decides when the right time is because there's there's a big universe out there and we can't really understand all the intricate details but a higher force can or higher self can understand and see that and know how everything is going to play out how it's all going to work out so divine timing okay things are coming towards you but you just may not see them right away but again you receive prosperity so i mean honestly if you're mad that's a great thing to manifest okay an adventure so for you prosperity may mean travel and i feel as though yeah it's like all these oracle cards i'm seeing are just really pointing to a positive outcome for you something positive a change is happening so these things in in your head in your mind i things that may be troubling you in your dreams this is something that has to do with maybe a particular individual, but it is not going to prevent you from reaching your goals, having an, an adventure, possibly travel in your future, or even just like a fun change, something exciting and new, but prosperous. It's going to lead to success in your life. So whatever you're going through right now, I just feel that you are healing, you're going to overcome this individual. And you may even find that they kind of fade into the background. The more you focus on your intuition, the more you focus on your manifestation. So something is coming to you basically. And this is interesting because it's just a complete turnaround from where you are at right now. It's a complete 180 so that you are able to manifest gain focus control over kind of what is coming towards you and receive the prosperity that you guys deserve so that is going to do it for your reading group too thank you so much for joining me for this reading all about black magic i truly hope that the messages were helpful to you and that the energy healing was helpful as well to clear those blockages and i hope that you are feeling better because my head is already feeling much much better Please give this video a big thumbs up if you have not done so already and comment down below to let me know if this reading did resonate with you. I would love to know that you are enjoying my content and I appreciate it so, so much. I do read all the comments. If you would like a personal reading, I do offer those on my website, celestemone.com, which is linked in the description box below. So you can head on over there if you would like to receive further messages from me. That is going to do it for this reading. I hope to see you back again soon, but bye for now. Hello, all my beautiful celestial beings who chose pile number three with the tiger's eye on it. I have your pile right here and we're going to set the tiger's eye aside and dive into your cards to find out if anybody's sending black magic towards you. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this reading, we are asking our angels right now to protect us during this reading so that if we are tapping into any negative energy, it will not affect us and we could just transmute that energy into positive pure light. Okay, let's head on into your tarot cards. First, we have the Hierophant. We have the Emperor. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Three of Cups. Okay, group three. So for you guys, I'm not seeing that you are having any major black magic or negative energy weighing you down or preventing you from moving forward. But I do have some other messages for you to kind of help you if you are feeling blocked in some way. I do see the Hierophant and this is representing a connection really to your higher self, but maybe through books, maybe through reading spiritual books or connecting to a particular religion or a particular a particular spirituality this could even just be researching and better understanding spirituality in some way and i am also seeing for some of you this could mean that you are sticking to a much more strict routine you may be working hard at something in a very methodical way this could be related to spirituality specifically because this is the hierophant and this is a major arcana card so it typically does have to do with your soul's path and your soul's journey but i feel like you either way you are tackling something in your life that is part of your soul's path in a very methodical way meaning you are sticking to a schedule and you're working hard and you're sticking to that routine in order to get things done i feel like that is going to really work for you that is very successful for you so far uh and i am seeing with the here the emperor 
and the eight of pentacles i'm seeing that this hard work is going to pay off eventually i see that you know it is important to have fun a little bit to take breaks from time to time because with the three of cups i'm seeing that there may be a celebration coming up for you so it's important to take time to relax and let go of that stress of kind of sticking to the routine but for you, I feel like it's working. I feel like you're building something really great. You may be building your own business. You may be building some kind of uh, foundation in your life. And this could be a career because I am seeing the Eight of Pentacles as well. This is you really being diligent about the work that you are doing and focus. I feel maybe you feel like you're not doing enough or you're worried that you're not, you know, building something that is going to be long term. But I do feel that for many of you, this is going to really pay off. Now, if this is a study of some kind where you are really investigating something, researching something that you are interested in, like spirituality, things like that. Also, that it is also important to ground yourself uh, and to also take time out to focus on some physical things as well so you may kind of be focused on all the spiritual spiritual stuff it is important to kind of ground yourself in certain ways because i do sense and this isn't really necessarily a bad thing but i feel as though you do find it more difficult perhaps for some of you to ground yourself because with the emperor in reverse this could mean for you that grounding yourself and building that foundation may feel like a difficult thing to do or you may be unsure of how you're going to do it but i feel as though this is something you're building up towards i feel i do sense that this is something that is in your future and right now you are in kind of the mode of like learning researching understanding but being very disciplined about that. I feel like you're very disciplined right now. That is the energy I'm getting. And I do sense that it's going to pay off. Because I feel with Three of Cups that people are going to celebrate your successes. Again, this could be like a birthday or some kind of celebration coming up as well for you guys. But I do sense either way, this is a celebration of you, celebration of your successes and things that you are working on and building. I feel like it is going to take some time to build what you are growing as well because this is a long-term project, okay? That is what I'm saying. This is a very long-term goal. So you're in it for the long haul. And it is important to celebrate your wins along the way and to, to really give yourself credit and to give yourself love as well for how far you've come already. Uh, but yeah, that is, okay, that is really what I'm seeing for many of you is that this is a long-term project. This is something that will be needed to tackle with, commitment and discipline and continue working and working at it because it is going to grow and grow and get better and better and better so if you're just in the early stages of this which i feel as so many of you are this may even be where you're just kind of learning about whatever you're planning to do or be or or learn about in general like understand educate yourself on i feel like you may just be in the early stages but I do see that if you continue to put energy into this over and over and over, I feel like this is growing. This is something that you have to take small steps at first, but that is going to turn into something that is long-term, very successful for you, and really positive, okay? But yeah, take time out to, to just take break, breaks here and there and celebrate your little victories as you're kind of growing this. Okay, let's head on into the Oracle cards next. We have confidence be bold rise up and stand tall feel the fire in your soul yeah i feel like you have strong confidence right now group three and if you you know be sure to remember this confidence because you may be starting off like really confident but what happens you know along the way is you may feel like you're not sure where this is going or you're wondering if you can continue on you're not seeing results right away too not always you know things you put work into doesn't always show results of right away so I feel like confidence is going to be your key to continuing on this journey. I, I feel like this reading in general is meant to give you confidence. And this is a grounding energy for me as well. The grounding energy of the emperor. This is, you know, when you start working on this, continue to hold that confidence and know that you're building something really great here. You're building something really important for you and for your soul's path. Okay, next we have a dreamer. 
your dreams have chosen you find fulfillment in pursuing your destiny this is the magic of life yes you're trying to build your dreams you're trying to make your dreams come true now this could be for some of you a spiritual path that you're walking to awaken on but for some of you too this is a project this is a personal goal a personal dream that you have to be successful in and this is your destiny this is really your destiny here on earth to do this so continue to put the work in and this is something that is going to pay off with continuous work okay next we have faith yes believe you are not alone spirit is right beside you ask for guidance and it will come so have faith in the process have faith every step along the way your angels are stepping coming through right now like the angels have come through with each one of these piles um and they're here to let you know like have faith that things are going to really work for you as you work on your soul's mission this is your destiny so things are going to work out things may just come out of the woodwork for you you know support financial support words of encouragement like these words hopefully are encouraging you to continue to have faith because what you're working on is your your destiny okay that's why you you are a dreamer that's why you're dreaming big right now it's because you are finally connected with your destiny and that is something that you are pulled towards you can't deny it you have to move towards it and work on it and learn about it and you are just like engrossed in it as well you're just so tapped into this goal that you have so it is important to continue on and stay confident in your plan and have faith okay next we have power you guys are in your power right now there is no there's no black magic that, that can touch you right now there's no one no negative you know negative people coming in to try to prevent you from reaching your goals okay they, you guys are in your power and i feel like you are in your power because you're walking your path okay you're on the right path you're doing the right thing you're working on the right thing learning about the right thing um so yeah have confidence in that power that you possess awakening okay you're awakening to your life's path you're awakening to your goal okay that you were meant to do here on earth so you may have already started this as i mentioned you may be just starting on this path where you're just learning about it but suddenly you just have this like like time just goes by as you learn and read and work on this this is something that you are in the flow when you are doing it or when you are reading about it and you are just continuing to um feel pulled towards this this is part of your awakening path and of course this is a right above dreamer which also is talking about destiny and the magic of life so you're awakening you're truly awakening to your calling here on earth which is amazing i mean some people never really hear the call uh and awaken so you guys should feel very proud of yourself for taking this on and following your dreams and pursuing your destiny okay last but not least we have playfulness i'm seeing playfulness in the three of cups for sure as i mentioned it's important you know to not take things too seriously right now you may just be in the zone you should totally follow that but if you're starting to get drained be sure to take time out to rest and as i mentioned before celebrate your little victories along the way because this is the long haul here okay so you may you know things aren't always going to go a hundred percent smoothly but that just means you have to listen you maybe have to take some time have a little fun take a break figure out you know where's your intuition guiding you listen to the faith okay but your angels are wanting you to take a rest and also have fun you know be playful with this and don't force yourself to work through through fatigue or exhaustion you know if you're feeling tired during this path your angels want you to know like you can take some time out you can have fun and usually that time of joy that time of happiness that is when like breakthroughs happen or when you're able to manifest something great so yeah be sure to celebrate your victories along the way as i mentioned okay group three i truly hope that you enjoyed these messages i'm so glad to hear that you have a lot going for you right now that you're following your soul's path and awakening to your true destiny here in the physical realm i am super excited for you and i hope that you enjoyed these messages and that they were helpful 
please give this video a big thumbs up if you have not done so already and comment down below to let me know if this reading did resonate with you i would love to know that you are enjoying my content and i appreciate it so so much i do read all the comments if you would like a personal reading i do offer those on my website celestsimone.com which is linked in the description box below so you can head on over there if you would like to receive further messages from me that is going to do it for this reading i hope to see you back again soon but bye for now Hello, all my beautiful celestial beings who chose pile number four. Have your pile right here with the red tiger's eye on it. So I'll just set that aside. And let's dive into your reading and find out if anybody is sending you a black magic. As I mentioned in the beginning of this reading, I do want to send out the intention one more time to let our angels know to watch over us and protect us during this reading. Because we, if we are tapping into any negative energy, I do want to make sure that we are not absorbing it. We are transmuting it into pure white light energy. So with that said, let's head on into this reading. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, Temperance, and we have the Sun card in reverse. Okay, all right, right off the bat, group four, I'm not seeing that anybody is sending you black magic. Luckily, you know, there is no negative energy being sent towards you, but I do have follow-up messages for you to help you out and to help you with any blockages that you may have. So with the 10 of cups, I'm just seeing that you may have recently ended a relationship or that you are looking for a relationship that you're hoping to connect with somebody in a loving way. I'm just seeing that there may be matters of the heart that are of concern for you of, during this time. And that may be why you clicked on this reading is to kind of see if there's anybody blocking you from a potential partner. But what I am seeing with the 10 of pentacles, I feel as though you're coming to the end of a cycle. Okay, so we are kind of living through cycles of learning and growing, expanding. So you're coming to the end of one I'm just seeing with, between the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. So this could be the end of a relationship for you or it could be maybe the end of matters of the heart where or it could be also some growth here some healing some medicine happening for you in an emotional way at an emotional level this could be in regards to family as well you may have been hurt by somebody and are healing from that i just feel like this is a very healing time emotionally for you but that you're coming to the end of that healing cycle and i'm also seeing in your physical life in your career in your day-to-day material world and see with the ten of pentacles that you have been very abundant that you may be actually receiving some further abundance or this may be kind of the culmination or the ending of a successful project okay so something is coming to an end here as well for you that went very successfully for you this could be in your job or you know out of work as well something you're personally working on or even just maybe you you're settling into a new home with family and maybe it was emotionally difficult or something that you kind of went through that resulted in a positive outcome maybe just was stressful on you and causing some emotional turmoil as well so but i feel as though this is a healing process this is nothing major this is nothing negative per se it's just that this may be a healing time for you and you're kind of coming to the end of that and what i'm seeing at the end of this kind of cycle for you is gaining a balance this is gaining temperance which is a complete i feel like it is a balance between your I, I'm seeing that you, you're receiving a balance between your higher self and your earthly self as well. And also within, there's this harmony that you're coming into balance with. And I feel this could also be between your physical life and the emotions within, okay? The healing that you went through has healed you emotionally and physically. I feel like these things are coming into harmony for you within, okay? I feel as though the more you seek harmony between these two things, this is where the sun card comes in because I do see that there's going to be some great success as a result of going through this. I feel again, this is a culmination, okay? This is the final outcome. And I feel like there's a bittersweetness to it to some extent. I don't feel like it's a major thing, but I do feel as though emotionally you may be just exhausted or stressed or something maybe tapped into your emotions that needs healing because of this all kind of coming to an end. But ultimately, you are getting, gaining 
harmony in your life and i see with the sun card in reverse i feel as though there's opportunities here there's still possibilities for a even greater higher outcome so i'm seeing with the sun i'm seeing a new dawn i'm seeing a new day for you i'm seeing because of the end of this old cycle you are going to start new and fresh with the sun i feel like the sun is in reverse simply because this has not yet happened yet Okay, so I feel like you may still be going through this healing energy and the ending of this other cycle and gaining, and I feel as though too with the temperance card, this, you need, going within is really needed. Okay, yeah, I feel like going within um, and taking some time out alone maybe to heal, to regain your energy. I feel like you may be tiring yourself out a little bit too much with this whole thing and so by the end of it you really just need a rest time to regain your center and to regain harmony as well but i feel like that is going to be a result of this that you're going to kind of balance these two aspects out in your life uh yeah because i'm seeing with the temperance card there's actually the blue energy of the cups as well as the yellow energy of the pentacles the sun here and the sun energy here coming together so balance is really needed harmony is really needed for you right now i feel like that is going to happen through inner healing taking time for yourself really taking time out for yourself to heal to regain your strength to find harmony and balance once again within you may actually need to do some healing exercise to walk in nature some meditation you may need to journal to kind of release these emotions and heal before you kind of head in and actually i, I see energy healing would actually be very helpful to you so i am going to send you some energy healing right now to regain harmony and i i do feel as though there's something in the throat chakra as well as i'm kind of talking to you guys but also yeah, I also just feel overall, like I feel like a, an inner harmony, an inner aligning is really needed and necessary right now. So if you do want to receive this healing energy, simply comment down below two blue hearts and that will just let me know that you would like to receive this energy. But I am just sending you energy to really align, kind of starting from the throat chakra and then kind of moving upwards and and downwards as well to ground you and to release this kind of blockage in the throat as well okay so i'm going to send that to you we'll just keep sending that throughout the rest of this reading and let's keep going with the oracle cards next energy life force is flowing open yourself to receive the power from within yeah really open yourself up to the healing energy okay i'm sending you energy you know already so this card is coming through just let you know open up let in some positive energy i'm already feeling a release for you guys i feel like this card really needed to allow you to open up and receive energy because i feel as though you may at some times feel like you have to do everything yourself you may block yourself off to receiving energy from others because subconsciously you may just feel like you don't want to burden other people or that you're you're maybe just closing yourself off to receiving help so receive the energy from this reading and this is going to lighten your energy in general. This is going to create harmony and alignment once again within your chakra energies. Okay. Yes. Powerful, powerful stuff. Okay. Next we have flexibility. Gently flow through the turbulence. Life has the ability to shape you. Bend, don't break. Yep. I just feel with the temperance card as well, we're regaining that flow, the re regaining the harmony and flexibility okay and balance is coming back into your life and there's this water energy too with the flexibility i feel like water and this flowing energy within you is kind of coming through to me as something that is needed to un to really let go of those blockages okay and i do see that you have been experiencing some turbulence or emotional turbulence as well you may be feeling off or balance or out of whack because of your emotions right now uh so yeah just be be aware that the energy flowing through you can heal that for you ask for help from your angels as well we're going to ask them right now to help you regain that flow within your body regain that flexibility and regain your ability to just kind of flow with the turbulence and and also release it too Okay, just let that go. It's just going to flow out of you and you're just going to be able to continue on to this new dawn, this new beginning. Okay, next we have pilgrimage. You are on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. 
Only you can choose your path. So you are on a pathway to greatness. I feel like the next step for you is the sun. However, I feel like you may feel, you know, again, there's almost a bittersweetness to the success and maybe it didn't turn out exactly the way you wanted it to. Maybe this end result is not 100% how you saw it going about. And so there, there's some kind of emotional bittersweetness to this. However, I feel like this is just one part of the journey. You're going to be starting a new cycle on your journey through life. And I feel like this lesson or these emotions were healing for you in order to regain a deeper sense of balance, a deeper sense of connection and harmony within yourself. Because you're right now you may be seeking answers, you know? It says your soul is longing to find the way. I feel like you may be seeking answers on this path and I do sense okay I'm also something with the ten of cups and ten of pentacles I feel as though you are advanced on the spiritual journey as already and even with temperance I feel like you've really gained some higher level of harmony within your life you may already feel as though you are flowing with the universe okay uh so you're longing to find the way and I feel like you you already have come so far on this journey you've already been healed and I'm feeling there's a lot of blue here as well so i am feeling it in my throat chakra still so we're just going to send some healing energy there but you are on your path okay you are on your path and if you're feeling like you may you may feel like you're off it sometimes that is really when you just need to take some time to go within and really you know that is something that is almost a daily practice for, for many of us where we need to just go within and heal this could be going into nature um if that is if that calls you but I feel as though you are kind of coming back into a sense place of harmony again after maybe feeling off kilter for a little bit there. But this actually is part of your process. This is part of the journey. You are on the right path uh, and we just kind of get off kilter sometimes, but we just need to bend, you know, with the turbulence and go with it and allow it to shape you but not break you um and i feel as though you are going to be able to do that you're going to be just fine you're going to be continuing on your journey and you have this powerful energy leading the way you know i feel like you're going to even ignite an even powerful flow of energy within you guys okay next we have dreams so you may actually be having a lot of dreams right now. Uh, I definitely have been, um, but right now you may be tapping into a lot of dreams and information coming through that. I also feel like you may be downloading energy in your dreams. You may be releasing things in your dreams and energy may be kind of flowing in and out. And I, I do, I just feel this really powerful energy flow with you like water almost through your body and surround you kind of constantly. So I feel like you may be awakening in certain ways and clearing things and a lot of stuff is kind of happening in your dreams so there may be energy downloads information coming to you that maybe you just don't fully understand right now but it's happening in your dreams because you are receiving that but it is just kind of obscure you may not really understand fully the extent of it until a little later on as to what was going on but this is all part of the healing process right now for you guys okay next we have intention So I feel like many of you are healers, okay? I feel like you have an energy healing ability. Just because I'm getting this water energy with you very strongly, and that tends to be healing energy for me when I am, I'm kind of sensing that in readings. So I feel like with this water energy and intention, I feel like it's important to set the intention of healing. I feel like it is important to release, um, to heal yourself and release any negative energy kind of caught up within you. I do feel like you kind of are above a lot of the black magic right now. As I mentioned, you're almost like at a higher level uh, spiritually. So I feel like you're above black magic in general. I feel like that can't really touch you because you're kind of walking a higher spiritual path of, of sp a spiritual pilgrimage I'm seeing for many of you. Okay. And um, yeah, I feel like your intention, setting your intentions right now to heal and to regain alignment and harmony. Because I'm seeing with the water, I'm just seeing... The water is kind of pouring out on this card in a very straight line for the card of intention. I feel like this is you aligning your chakras. I feel this flow of like up and down energy. And this happening, I feel like this these energy downloads is also happening during your sleep and dreams. You may have prophetic dreams during this time as well. And you're not really sure what they mean or you may feel like you know you've had dreams but you can't really tell what they were. 
This may be things happening beneath the surface. You may be actual traveling, maybe dream walking, you know, and traveling to other astral planes, doing, gaining more understanding, doing more research almost in your dreams to raise your vibration even further. So just set your intention right now to heal and to uh, realign, to harmonize your, your body, your energy right now and to regain that flow because that's going to help you guys. All right, and last but not least, healing. Yeah, I've said healing a lot in this reading and I've felt that water energy. I'm seeing, you know, healing energy is coming out, um, intentions, so this water card, this water energy, temperance, everything I think is really pointing to you healing uh, and maybe you being a healer yourself as well if that does resonate with you and this is you know I feel like healing this is a, you are on your journey so for some of you it is your life path to grow this ability to heal and help others I just feel like you have a raised vibration about you already uh, with your energy so yeah he, you know healing is a huge part of this reading and I definitely mentioned it a few times but I feel like water for you is very healing as well so you may want to take a bath a cleansing bath with the intention of healing okay you know the attention of aligning your chakras and maybe do a salt bath listen to music listen to binaural beats or something like that um to kind of realign yourself because i feel like it's not any one any one chakra really i just feel the energy kind of flowing up and down for you guys and releasing and, and kind of being in a, a good flow right now uh but other than a little bit in the throat, but we're clearing that out now. So um, yeah, so I feel like you are healing right now. You're healing that energy. You're awake. You're gonna. This is gonna lead to a, a higher awakening. Okay. You're going to raise your vibration even higher. It's going to be a new dawn. You're going to be healed at an even higher level. You're going to regain harmony, regain this temperance in your life. Okay. And balance. So that is going to do it for you, group four. I really hope that these messages were helpful to you. So glad to hear that, you know, there's no black magic to worry about for you guys, but that we were able to help you heal and to release some blockages. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful to you. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you have not done so already and comment down below to let me know if this reading did resonate with you. I would love to know that you are enjoying my content and I appreciate it so, so much. I do read all the comments. If you would like a personal reading, I do offer those on my website, celestemone.com, which is linked in the description box below. So you can head on over there if you would like to receive further messages from me. That is going to do it for this reading. I hope to see you back again soon. Bye for now.